Your encoders come with um, several different pieces of hardware for different frames that they could be attached to. This is your encoder piece, comes with two separate encoders. And then here is your different pieces of hardware pertaining to which frame you're installing onto. Today we're going to use two one and a half inch bolts, three of the spacers, and our two encoders on our metal frame. These are the parts we're going to be using, our two encoders. From our hardware bag, we grabbed our inch and a half bolt, as well as our three inch long bolt. We also grabbed three spacers, as well as our two locking washers. We're going to be installing the bottom carriage encoder. To do that, we'll grab our inch and a half bolt, we'll take our locking washer and place it on the bolt. We'll then place the bolt through the encoder. Now notice the head of my screw comes through on the opposite end of my wheel. So once it's placed through, I have the bolt on the same side as the wheel. I'll then take one of my half inch spacers and I can then install my encoder onto the back of my carriage into the pre-drilled hole. <clears throat> you want to tighten this down tight. And you'll notice right here that my encoder wants to constantly spring back. That's important that it does that. When installed, you'll want this arm right here at about, if I'm viewing it at this angle, at about uh, 9 or 10 o'clock on the clock. Once we have our encoder installed onto our bottom carriage, we're going to now place our bottom carriage onto our frame. To do that, I will first hold the encoder to make sure that when I place it onto my frame, it doesn't hit the encoder. I flip my carriage over. I place it onto the frame. Now notice, right here, my wheels aren't lined up properly. You want to be sure that all four of your wheels line up on the, the rail like they're supposed to, just like that, and your carriage should roll nice and smoothly left to right. Right here, our encoder should be placed against the track. So it's important to note that my encoder does in fact rest on the rail and you can see how the spring guarantees that it presses against the rail and rolls as we roll it left to right on that track. Okay. Once our bottom carriage has been placed, again ensuring that my encoder is on the proper location, you can then place your top carriage, ensuring that your wheels are lined up on the track on top of your bottom carriage. To install our top encoder, we're gonna use our three inch long bolt just like the bottom encoder, we'll take our tooth washer, place it onto our bolt. We'll then take our encoder, and just like the bottom encoder, we'll place the bolt through the encoder with the head on the opposite side of the wheel. Place it all the way through, then take two of our spacers, one, two, and we'll take one of our quarter 20 nuts. We'll place the encoder through the track, install the nut, after I have my nut semi-tight, I can then pivot my encoder all the way around. This is the arm, just like on the bottom encoder, I want to pivot this around. That's what's going to add my tension to the encoder as it's pressing down on the track. Then taking your Phillips head screwdriver, you want to give it maybe one or two turns of your screwdriver to ensure that it's locked in nice and tight. Once we have our bolt nice and tight, we want to be sure this is what we call the spring arm that the spring arm is at about 10 o'clock. And the most important piece is that the spring, which is inside the spring arm, has nice tension that actually pushes the encoder down to the track and it's pushing out 100% of the time. So therefore, when you roll your carriage front to back, your encoder rolls nice and smooth across the track. After you've plugged in your rear handlebars underneath your box, we can now plug in our encoders. This encoder, since it's on the top of our carriage, is gonna plug into, you'll notice here on the side of your box, there's actually marked top encoder and bottom encoder. So what I like to do is I feed my encoder wire down through this clamp right there, and I plug it into the top encoder port. Then my bottom encoder on my bottom carriage plugs into my bottom encoder port. The other ports on here, I have a robotics port. Your system can be directly integrated with a robotics system. There's also a laser port as well as a rear handlebar port, all of which are options um, on your system.